troubled preschool chain Treehouse shuts down 119 schools across the country. Clueless and worried parents and toddlers are left stranded mid-term. Parents allege that teachers' salaries and rents have been due for many, many months. And on 14th April 2017, there will be a mega award announced for consumers 1 crore, 50 lakhs and 25 lakhs. And for merchants, this will be 50 lakhs is the first prize, 25 lakhs is the second prize and 5 lakhs is the third prize. And the government plays Santa comes up with a mega lucky draw for going digital. The winner stands to win nearly 1 crore rupees. Niti Aayog's push for going digital, but on the ground, civic bodies across India struggle to pay their contract workers. The cash crunch affects everyone on contract. The focus now in printing has been on, is now on printing more of uh, 500 rupee notes. Of course, there is printing of, uh, you know, 100 rupee notes, 50 rupee notes, which are continuing. The government assures citizens in the last five weeks that the RBI has supplied sufficient notes of lower denominations to ease the denomination woes. They say that there'll be enough money in the system by the end of the year. And 10 days since the shocking rape and murder of the 24-year-old girl in Mumbai, police have not made any arrests. Leaders cutting across party lines visit the families, but there's been no progress on the investigation. This treehouse has various branches spread across Bombay. But the parents whose children used to study in this school were in for a rude shock when they got to know that the school was shutting down. We feel absolutely cheated, all of us. Uh, that's the first feeling that enters me whenever I think about this. It's quite of a shock because we've paid in full and then there is nothing that I, our child has got since last six months. And another four months are on toss. So we don't know exactly what to do next. Problem is that till the March 17 we have paid the fees. Now we don't have any certificate to go any other school. We have come to the police department, we are giving a complaint. First of all, since morning they were not ready to take any complaint from us. So we were asking for an FIR since yesterday. Ladies were coming here and standing out for 4-5 hours and asking for complaint. But they were not taking any complaint. Well, tonight viewers, we are focusing on parents. Parents who have found to their shock that the schools that their toddlers were going to I've shut shop. 119 schools across the country have suddenly, overnight, without notice, downed their shutters because they've run out of money. Now, I want to remind our viewers that although these are play schools, they charge sometimes upwards of 60,000 rupees a year as fees. And a lot of times, those fees are charged in advance. The parents now have to figure out how they're going to get their money back and how they're going to readmit their children into other schools mid-year. The thing that we've discovered from this is that play schools and creches in India are not regulated. There is no regulation at all that puts down rules on the qualifications for teachers, the number of students per class and of course what needs to be done in case the school is shutting shop. That's our focus this evening. What happens to these parents and their children? What sort of legal aid can they get now? And if you're at home and you're similarly concerned, you can get in touch with us. Phone lines will be open in a little while. Joining me on the show, Abba Singh, lawyer and activist in Mumbai, Aarti Sate, also an advocate and the spokesperson of the BJP. Sushi Ben Shah from the Congress Party will join us through the course of this conversation. So will a representative of the education um, sector. But in the meantime, parents who have been left in the lurch. Aditya, Malik and Arvind join me in the studio as well. Aditi, I'm going to start with you. Obviously, a rude shock. Tell us the course of events. Tell us what has happened. We understand Meera Dilip, who's an education activist, joins us from Pune. But Aditi, I'll start with you. Which of these branches was your child going to and what happened? Well, uh, my child was uh, in Daftari Road branch and it was Treehouse. We got her admitted for this financial year 2016-2017 and we were doing well for the first two months and post which 
uh, as my wife said that there are there are no activities which are happening for which we have got a recommendation for and we got our child admitted into such a good brand name having said there has there has nothing been happened since last four months and yesterday she called me up and she was like uh, the school is going to shut down and what do we do with our daughter i mean for the next four months we have paid in full and on top of it we have nothing that we can do about it we don't have we have no way to go so that's the reason when i uh, hopped into the scenario and went through all these possible uh, sources we had to start again into a cop station also speak to quite a lot of people have to convince them that our issue is quite genuine and we you have to address this so we we literally had to go from the top authorities and come down and then it it becomes like uh, people are listening to us so it's very sad having said everything that you have you've paid in full you're not getting what you seek for and top of it you are being treated as if you have done some crime the but are you who treated you like you've done some crime uh, what do you when, mean when we went to the went to the uh, cop, cop station uh, these officers uh, when we asked them to take a complaint that uh, we need some uh, something in writing that uh, this has happened with us so mm. these people were like no we cannot take down a complaint since it's 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 not a civil issue and uh, this this is more of a kind of consumer court issue but my question no, no, was no. okay fine even if can i want I, to go I, to someone i need to have something right. with me right right you know i, I want to bring in meera meera dilip right now meera dilip uh, is is this is this a flat out case of cheating if if the police are going of to turn course, around it is yeah. a flat out case of cheating and i feel that uh, the education department has to intervene over here whether it is a preschool or whether it is a normal school all they come under the trustee and the trustee has to be taken into account how can they cheat the parents the trustees i think the uh, books of accounts of the trustees has to be taken and uh, i feel uh, the balance sheet has to be taken the parents have paid the full amount so the justice has to be given the government has to intervene here and they have to ensure that the children's future has not taken to the uh, to uh, to stake and they have to immediately readmit them to the nearby school this becomes the responsibility of the government right you know um, i want to bring in arthi sathi here arthi sathi the, the minister ministry of women and child development government of india released regulations in 2013 called the national early childhood care and education policy but the policy doesn't mention in any way regulations for institutions like tree house there's no there's no mention here uh, you know of what the rules are what happens in a case like this isn't this something that should be taken up by either the ministry of child development or by the education ministry the hrd ministry it's it comes under the education ministry and the play group also comes under the fee regulation act uh, they have to the parents have to approach the education officer right, right. they have to ask them to conduct an inquiry on the school why this has happened why they have been cheated and if the the school cannot shut down and they cannot take the children's future at stake all right uh, thank you meera the liberty sathi the question was to you uh, does should is this isn't this something that should be regulated by the ministries of education and child development uh yes let me begin by saying that what has happened today uh, is rather uh, you know serious and unfortunate because in the education space something like that happening is rather sad at the same time as far as regulation is concerned the concerned ministry would to my mind really be the education ministry hmm. as rightly pointed out by meera there is a free regulation act which maharashtra government has enacted but that is really in respect of the gap of fees which is applicable as far as aided schools are concerned government schools are concerned and public schools uh, private schools are concerned there is also another uh, ordinance or some act which was passed sometime around in 2012 when the congress government was there whereby preschools and nursery schools were supposed to take permission from the state department before starting out these schools so i think the first thing which really needs to be checked is whether tree house as a play school has the necessary permissions in place the second thing which needs to be taken into consideration is that under that maharashtra fee regulation act there is something called as far as private schools are concerned something called the parent teacher association which really takes an active role if these schools have made some sort of uh, you know they have not really lived up to their commitments or there is some sort of uh, 
anomaly as far like mm. the, like in this case they have suddenly shut down the school so the parent teacher association body really can take action or at least bring to the notice of the uh, managing committee that look what you have done is incorrect and then further steps can be but, taken but you know actually i must point out that uh, the tree house and its entire management has been completely incognito they have not responded to any of the yeah, phone calls which, i know which, from the parents which, from us from anybody else we got in touch with the uh, which Z, will really uh, invite legal consequences because as rightly said this really amounts to cheating this mm. amounts to almost uh, uh, you know taking money from people embezzling you know somebody else's uh, money so this will really have serious consequences as far as the criminal uh, jurisprudence is concerned so that is a separate proceeding altogether for that separate legal action will have to be initiated by the parents bodies or together they can sort of bring about some class suit or class action which really is still not very prevalent in india but that will be a separate legal proceeding which will take place in the court of law but as far as the government regulations are concerned the parent teacher association which i'm sure must be there for tree house can bring this matter up to the state department and can check if necessary permissions have been granted to tree house well uh, arvind arvind and molik i'll come to arvind first arvind uh, what has the parent teachers association done so far what have you done as a group of parents what action are you taking yes so basically uh, as aditya said uh, we weren't aware of uh, what the next body that should be approached to so we tried to get the parents together mm. and uh, as you, as we were discussing that it is a clear case of fraud we tried to uh, approach the nearest police station we went uh, with all the uh, documentation required with all the receipts and uh, what we had paid to tree house and all we tried to get an uh, fir uh, registered with the authorities which was denied we uh, tried uh, to meet the seniors as well and at the end of the day only a application no, was accepted i i find this appalling um, and i'll bring abha singh in here abha singh police refusing to file fir's we've had a lot of this happen for you know for problems with the with the housing sector when people you know when uh, customers approach the police to file fir's against developers but i don't understand in this particular case when it's a question of children and parents are distraught why are police refusing to file fir's what action can be taken against the police who refuse to file an fir so the police would also be looking into the legalities that under what section can they lodge an fir because as you are saying they are talking of cheating but uh, the, they they have to see the legalities like it could be a criminal breach of trust because when a parent comes to a school uh, they are under the trust that the school would take their children and they would complete a year so i think it could be criminal breach of trust also but foremost i would advise the parents through your channel that they should file a civil suit so that they can get an order from the court to the school authorities that restraining them from closing down the school or giving them instructions to this nursery that the year end the year should not be wasted and they should continue the nursery till the completion of the session so the first thing first is a civil suit which will restrain the tree house people from shutting it down and ensure that the children complete the year and also the parents can go to the consumer court file a consumer case so that they can get adequate compensation for mm -hmm. the fees paid and also so what the precious loss of year aditya go ahead yeah so when we are talking about filing a suit or maybe going legally or maybe uh, getting a pil done this is a process that uh, will take its own sweet time now the parents are concerned yeah i can i intervene yeah can one I second one second here? mira i'll I, come to you I let just, him finish his point I, just, yeah. let him finish his point As go ahead as of now you all are concerned yes. for next 4 months what my kid is going to do Mm. so that's what that was the basic motive for us to go into the police station and get an fir done on the basis of which we can go to the consumer court we probably can get on to apply sarkar we can probably get into uh, cm's office and probably speak to them what's going to happen next because we have no clue absolutely no clue what's going to happen for next 4 months so when you talk about filing a law lawsuit or maybe a get up get, getting into a pil that's fine Hmm. But no, but what uh, what we want to know is what's going to happen for next four what months. What happens to the kids who are now in the hospital? Yeah, yeah, file it. When we when 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 we talk about CIL. let's go to it's a police a station. Suit, when we go to a police station, immediately. Let me let me just complete. Let me just complete. Uh, what what uh, the problem is when we go to a police station and we speak to people, people themselves don't know what can be done and what cannot be done. It's only when you call an ACP or a DCP or you when you call to the commissioner police officer, at that time they call to this police stations and get. the uh, get us uh, in to speak to someone 
So when we talk about go and speak okay. to the police station, can they I themselves don't you? know what needs to be done. Yeah. Veera, go ahead. Yeah, can I suggest here? I would suggest the parents go file a complaint to your nearest deputy director's office. Ask them to conduct with the education officer to an inquiry on the tree house. Once the inquiry is done, we will have the report. This inquiry will not take more than two days. In two days, we will have the inquiry report and the, it will become the responsibility. If an FIR has to be lodged, take the education officer with you and ask the police, police, uh, police inspector to lodge an FIR. This will mm. be a very easy instead of going to the court and let the education department take the responsibility. And it's their responsibility to admit these children. It becomes the school is not, they all come under the trustee. When the school opens, they all come under the society and the trustees, uh, they come under the trustees. And when they sign the uh, agreement, it is a non-profit organization and they have so, to abide by the rules. They cannot close down the school just like that. So the first line of investigation Meera would Dilip, be Meera that Dilip, Do all of these rules apply to play schools and preschools? These rules apply yes, to yes, regular yes, schools, but these yes. are play schools and preschools no, that are no, not no, regulated no, no, no. right now. It comes. It comes, it comes, it has to because the education department is also in fact responsible for all this. When it is an education, it is the government's responsibility to provide education to all the children. So I'm sure they, there is and you just ask the education officer to conduct an inquiry on Treehouse. Let them go check the documents where anything has gone wrong. And in the meanwhile, ask the education department, you don't need a transfer certificate until your fifth standard. Just ask the education department to issue a letter to admit you to the nearest by school, which is under the three kilometer okay. range. You will definitely get the education. If you go to the education department, right. please ask them. Sati, Arthi Sati representing the government here, time. also a legal voice. Arthi Sati, does, uh, do preschools right now come under the education department? Can these parents approach the education department to do an audit and to receive some relief? Uh, like I said, the Maharashtra Fee Regulation Act is definitely applicable to these preschools. And there was also a bill which was either proposed to be passed uh, during the Congress government in 2012, where these preschools also had to get requisite permissions from the state government. But barring that, as a matter of right, uh, these preschool uh, parents can approach the education ministry, can ask the education ministry to intervene, and on behalf of the state government, uh, I can surely give all sort of assurance that whatever steps need to be taken to ensure that the kids really don't lose out a year mm. or the fees of the, uh, you know, of the students which have been paid in advance are well compensated back to the, uh, to the parents and all the aggrieved parties and parents are well compensated or at least their problem is taken uh, into consideration or, you know, we will definitely as a state government intervene and this is also an opportunity to for us really or for you know for various bodies to really realize that regulation is a must even for preschools and i mm. think a proper and a stricter regulation will also be put into place as and when and if and when not the, not, not rather if and when as now as we have seen it is a required thing and the need of the hour so a proper regulation will also be brought into place you know i want to point out to our viewers that this is not a problem that is limited to mumbai the nurseries that we are talking about of treehouse have shut 36 branches in Mumbai, 4 in Lucknow, 3 in Ranchi, 1 in Patna, 2 in Nagpur, 10 in Kolkata, 16 in Hyderabad. There are also branches in Chennai and Bangalore. And we're still getting reports from across the country. So there's a problem with this entire network. It's a franchise network. Abha Singh, this is, this is the other problem. Now, there's a brand name, which, which I will ask these parents about, the brand name which they trusted in, and, and they, they got admissions for their children with. But it's a franchise system, which means that Every individual school is run by a different set of people. There's something fundamentally wrong with a franchised school, isn't there? 
definitely and one more thing we must look into is that uh, these uh, tree house institutes wherever they are set up are they set up in plots which are reserved for schools whether they have usurped land by the name of education so if there's a reserved land then it is they are equally accountable so what i'm trying to say is franchisee of course this is the business which has come up that anybody takes the uh, franchisee parents are conduit to it thinking that it is that particular brand and end of the day it would be some local person with hardly any money Money, but it has sufficient money to pay the franchisee, use the brand name and con the parents. I think this incident should be taken by the education ministry to come with a solid set of guidelines to ensure that such incidents don't happen again. Parents are not conned into. But what is important that the civil suit, what I was talking of, at least a restraining order comes from the court that they should not shut down these nurseries so that the children are not harassed, the parents are not harassed. At least this educational year is completed because if you go to the police they will just register an FIR if they do and we know what happens to these FIRs these cases go on and on so the first priority is that the children should not miss out on their schooling right. and that is why the civil suit is a must for the parents Malik I want to bring in Malik here Malik tell us why you chose Treehouse when you were looking for for a school for your child and what you've discovered since <laughs> since that admission took place so, um, um, when, when, we, when we started looking for, or when any parent rather starts looking for, uh, you know, uh, choosing up a, a play group for his kid, um, of course, the one element is brand name, which we have been sp speaking about repeatedly, right? Uh, because uh, with the brand name comes a certain standard of education that you're expecting. Uh, the other thing that comes in is when I was speaking to a lot of counselors, uh, and I must say, uh, Triaus did a good job of, uh, you know, kind of selling uh, their their things to us. Uh, but when I was talking to a lot of counselors, uh, I personally visited all these playhouses. I wanted to see how the curriculum design works. Uh, also, on the other hand, uh, I had a lot of good references for Treehouse on, on, uh, from, from parents and stuff. So all that sort of, you know, at the end of the day convinced me that for a, for a premium price, uh, I would be getting in, you know, some, 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 some sort of a premium or at least a good level of education. So that's, 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 the, that's the way we chose, uh, or I went about choosing a tree house. I'm sure all the parents did. Um, since then, there have been a lot of you know, uh, falls uh, that, that I, can, I can rather speak about. So if I have to go down and speak about my center, which was uh, the Daftari Road Maladi Center, um, the first thing that happened about uh, five or six months back, or mm -hmm. rather very, uh, very close to when, when they actually uh, started the year, formally started the year. They had a subsidiary, uh, which uh, they used to call Global Champs. And this subsidiary was uh, um, uh, run at a very low cost for people who were of low income group, basically. And uh, then they suddenly decided to close this subsidiary. They merged it with uh, Treehouse. So my uh, first, my fight started right then. And uh, I wrote out an email to the authorities, which I did not get a reply to, basically. But I wrote which out an email Which authority saying that, did you write to? Which authority did you uh, write to? This is, this is the, uh, the treehouse higher up management, basically. Mm. So I first of all, I spoke to them over the phone. I said, uh, my problem uh, is that if two students are going to the same uh, school, mm. uh, why do these two students have different fee structures, mm. right? Uh, the other debate uh, there was also that, um, you know, um, in, in terms of what I know and what right. I found out. You know, you know I, I'll, come, I'll come back to you sure. and uh, I, I want to get in a couple of other voices. Sushi Ben Shah has joined us now. She represents uh, the Congress party. The, the thing of concern, and, and we've been researching this all day. Uh, my team's been looking into it. There is no regulation right mm. now anywhere in the country, viewers, for safety measures inside of play schools for safety measures inside of play schools and creches, for qualifications of the teachers who teach, for limits of what the quality of the curriculum is, of what is being taught in there, uh, fire safety, the building, things that are basic. When you leave your child in a space, there is absolutely no regulation anywhere in the country. And that, I think, we, is what we should learn from this entire incident, that if we're leaving children, toddlers, in a space, that space needs to be regulated one way or the other. So she went. You are absolutely right. I would take it from my friend on my right that what she said, it is not regulated. You see, if you go to a primary school, say fourth standard onwards, there is a body by the name of PTA, 
Now, I've been members, I'm sure most of the people who are parents here must have been members. So, any changes, maybe whether it be pertaining to fees or change of curriculum has to be run by the PTA. Mm. That's, a, that's the place, that's a nerve center where the welfare of the children is of prime importance. I don't believe there is anything by the norm of PTA. In, in play schools? Uh, in no play religion. schools. Yeah. Now, play schools, you see, we parents are very gullible. We fall into the rat race of ensuring that our child goes to the best, best school that is available in the city, whether it be Mumbai, Bangalore, or Delhi. And we f fall prey to such institutions where they are sure that if your child who is two and a half, three, three and a half, would get an admission to to a very best, good school, best school, yes. best school, should you join this. And we feel pro fall prey. I request my, my parents, the gentlemen, ladies, please go through what it is. And I think no one is a better tutor than we at home, no, but the family. To be fair, to be fair, so two. To what we were just hearing Malik tell us, uh, Malik tell us is that he's he did the research and he found that this was the best choice in his neighborhood. Now, if none of those choices are regulated, then what is he choosing no, but from? it's so fancy. You see, I mean, also, let me complete. I would also go a step further than what my friend Abha said, that maybe you must also go to the charity commissioner. This is a dereliction of duty. It, right. is, a, it is a violation of the, uh, the, 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 the trust deed. I think all the parents, of course, should go to the civil court as suggested, but also draw attention to the charity commissioner who sits at Worley and mm. assert your rights. Ensure that you make life difficult for Treehouse and a learning lesson for all the other schools, pre-primary schools, a big racket, which mm. is running. And the, I'm sure the, the, the government also, taking a cue from this, now that they have real estate regulation bill would certainly have such rule a, a, a for regulation for for preschools for Meera Dilip. absolutely yes I, I just wanted to add because all the schools in india either they are governed by the trustees or the societies yeah. why are why is the charity commissioner not looking into the balance sheet hmm. and why why is this happening why why suddenly the closure is happening was it enough funds? The charity commissioner should intervene and answer to these questions. All right, I have Shubrati Chaudhary on the phone line um, right now. Shubrati Chaudhary, go ahead. I can hear you. Yeah, hi. I'm calling from Malwani. Yes. Uh, uh, my toddlers, I've got these two little toddlers for three years, and they're going to the Malwani branch of Treehouse. Now, yes. uh, Treehouse here also is facing the same issues of, you know, lack of proper teachers, lack of proper security people. Now, what my thing right now is, now one particular teacher from the branch raises her head and holds the entire school, little toddlers most importantly, to ransom. Oh my God. Hello? Am, I, am I clear? Yes, we can hear you. Go uh, ahead. What do you yeah. mean when you say to ransom? Uh, to ransom as in this particular teacher had a month uh, back, you know, he held a strike saying that I'm not, go I'm going to come to school, but I'm not going to take classes because I'm not getting paid. Hmm. And all the, she had actually forced all the other teachers to join her in the same. Now, my question is, we are standing by the teachers. We completely understand their plight, that they are not getting paid. Now, here we try to call in the management people. Hmm. We try to contact them. None of their phones are working. We try to contact people whose phone numbers we were given. And, you know, by the grace of God, two gentlemen turn up one fine day, which happened last month. Right. And they repeatedly assured us that parents, please keep faith on us. And, you know, please try to believe us that we are trying to settle the payments of the teachers, which still now haven't That's been done. That's not done. That's not done. Okay, Aarti Sati, Aarti Sati, I know you have to leave, so I'm going to ask you this question again. Uh, we understand that this is happening across the country right now as far as Treehouse is concerned. Um, you know, it's happening in Lucknow, in Ranchi, in Patna, in Hyderabad. But as far as Maharashtra is concerned, Aarti, can, can there be a word put in for two things? One is these parents need help right now immediately so that their children don't lose a year. Secondly, we need regulation. We need to make sure that these schools are regulated and this doesn't happen to any other child or parent across the state. Yes, surely uh, the parent body can surely uh, approach the education minister, Mr. Vinod Taude. If any sort of help and intervention is required, the government will be first to step in and help their grief parents. The other thing is that as has, as has come out from the entire panel discussion, various methodologies have been suggested by legal experts, me being a lawyer, also by Sushi Ben from Congress, that really a very uh, systematic 
four five pronged attack really needs to be done on these kind of you know so called branded schools so that they don't go out in the market again and try and con parents civil suit is a is one great option because that will give immediate relief as mrs singh has pointed out consumer court if it is a trust then yes you know the charity commissioner can look into it and all these things really can help in building up the pressure which is required the other thing is that yes it's rather unfortunate that still this is not a very regulated uh, sort of uh, i won't call it industry but a space and we as a government will take into consideration suggestions we'll probably throw open suggestions for public for parent bodies and take this as a cue for us to bring about better regulations and regulate this space uh, look uh, in in coming forward years i think that's it would you assurance. put in a word with uh, with the minister himself yes After of course of course of course you know if any parent body or any of the parents come from the school i will be more than happy to take this problem to the uh, education minister mr tawde all right we we appreciate that arthi and i and i realize can we uh, yes can we do conduct an enquiry in the school why this school was we have lost the bottom why was the school shut down can we check into the <coughs> looks into the book of the accounts and for immediately i would suggest that there the is, uh, education there is department no provision which enables you to do that for these children yeah if there's a provision which enables to you to do that you could surely do that but there are legal remedies also available to you so like i said there are various options available to put pressure and if we apply all these options to get, uh, together along with the government support i think the requisite pressure will be built up and f in future these kind kind of schools will not really con the parents is what my advice would be so i also i also want to remind our viewers and and the panelists that this this particular company tree house is a listed company regulated by sebi and oh, over the last couple of quarters okay. since uh, you know since september last year it has been showing so, distressed numbers okay. it has been obvious to the stock market that the company has been running out of money that uh, the promoters of the company had pledged almost all of their shares they were due to merge with z learn but that merger has not happened yet so there've been signs that this company has been running out of money for for a while obviously it's not information that that no, was published bankruptcy the last yes. article that i wrote read, read fair which says that they've gone file for bankruptcy you see so they are going scot free at the cost of the parents and the student i would also beseech uh, uh my Arthi, friend arti that Arthi, also arti if the parents could be given a certificate that the children have studied for these particular certification for the curriculum it would help them further so the child doesn't miss school i think it is the school is duty bound to give them a certificate that all right this particular child has studied in junior kg senior kg i think the parent should also look into that so at least they get a certificate in their hand sure absolutely so maybe just It's to highlight a point uh, i think the children should get uh, admitted to the nearby school first thing we have to ensure that the children don't lose their, their education which is right. prime most important first we should get these children admitted to the nearby schools let That's these children possible. start their normal schools at the earliest and then later on we can go no, but, ahead but but the nearby schools will also need to have the capacity to take in the students that are coming out that's of this the, school that's where the education department can help the parents that is where the education department role comes in and they can help they, the education officer can guide them they mm. can here this is where the role of the education department comes in why can't the education department do that you know i want to bring in abha singh on this abha singh we also know that several of the teachers of this school have filed complaints at the same police station in uh, in malad west who have said that they have not been paid their salaries for several months now the school uh, the, the parents uh, are in the studio with us but the teachers didn't come because they were afraid that they will never get their salaries if they speak up what legal remedy is available to these teachers and and we sympathize with them what legal remedy is available to these teachers who worked but have not been paid definitely the teacher when he would have been engaged by tree house would have signed a contract or a terms of agreement of employment so if there is a breach of contract they can definitely uh, uh, go to the court that it's a breach of contract as per the contract act but yes to the police also as everybody is keen that an fir should be lodged they can talk of a breach of trust a criminal breach of trust as per the indian penal code because they were to be paid a certain amount of emoluments which they have not been paid because they have discharged their duty 
duties. So I think the teachers should have gone ahead, got this FIR registered. But the issue is this, that this is not happening at one place. This is happening pan-India. So as rightly said, the Parent Teacher Association should come together, register a case, and so that all these complaints are clubbed together and the action is taken. But what is important, whether the treehouse as, uh, group was trying to grab land by taking land which was reserved for schools, that mm. also needs to be looked into, whether they were genuine about education or it was just a, just a method of earning money. So all these things that I think uh, uh, NFIR needs to be registered, police needs to investigate, but at the same time, education department should be hauled up that why their education inspectors are not on continuous rounds, why they don't inspect and ensure that if such problems are brewing up, why did they not uh, uh, take matters into their hand so that the parents should have been warned not to get their children there? I think, you know, there's a bigger problem that we have to talk about here. Yes, and Shishi, when I'll come to you, the fact that this is a brand name that everybody is aware of. Everyone's heard of Treehouse. Everybody considers it a, one of the better options as far as preschools are concerned, considering that several of the other options leave plenty to be desired in quality of teachers and quality of the space. Now, Despite the fact it, it's a thriving industry that makes a lot of money, it's not regulated and no one in the government sat up and said, maybe we should look into what's happening in preschools. And not long ago, we had that horrible video that did the rounds of, uh, you know, one person in a crash really, really uh, beating a child. Again, an entire space of childcare that's not regulated in our, in our country. Yes. I think one more step, you know, why there is this mad craze for good English medium schools? Because there is basically dearth of good schools. Now, I don't know whether uh, times of uh, magic bricks are a time to read the Praja report on education, which was which was out by Praja is a well-known NGO which does yes. work on. And it is so damning. I was shocked to learn, Faye, that 17,000 rupees per month is spent on a school uh, for uh, of a child going to BMC school. Now, there is so many NGOs, maybe Akshara, maybe Prangan, they are doing great job in teaching English to all the children going to BMC school. I think it is the government, the BMC are duty bound to promote. It is a fundamental right of every citizen to good education, be it English, be it Marathi. Have we failed as citizens? That's the question and therefore we parents are left with private schools at their mercy, with high fees, and we have nowhere to go. I mean, I have to, I have my own maid. I mean, she is hmm. so keen that her child goes to an English medium school. But there aren't enough English medium schools to go to. Arvind, Arvind, you wanted to say something. Arvind, yeah, go ahead. So, uh, basically, as uh, ma'am was pointing out, uh, definitely we would love to send us uh, uh, kids to such uh, BMC schools if they have the proper facilities yes, and right. all. I agree. The reason for choosing uh, uh, such uh, preschools and all is uh, the reputation that we get for, uh, to hear from all around, right? Whatever reputation of the BMC schools has been uh, developed over uh, past few years. No, it's pathetic. I agree. Right. So uh, the options left, uh, even if we see the number of BMC schools or the seats that are available in uh, the areas that are not sufficient to suffice to whatever 17% no, I mean, of Arvind, the population Arvind is being we have. kind. Arvind is being kind. Let's be honest. <laughs> None of us in our right minds would send would our send children to right. a BMC school. Exactly. It's, it's yes. absolutely out of the question. That's not even a point we should be discussing. It's not an option for anybody. No, but Any, my, yeah, If you have no, a choice, you will not choose the BMC school. Let's be honest about that. No, no, no one. And this is what we've chosen. After doing the research, after having a choice, after paying top dollar, the fees are not cheap. 60,000 rupees a year for a preschool paid in advance is not cheap. And this is what we get in return because these people have effectively cheated these parents and students. The question now is where do these parents go with their kids midterm? Which school will admit a child midterm? And if the next four or five months are lost, what happens then? Do the kids have to repeat that year? Kinjal Mehta is on the phone line from Pune with a question for us. Kinjal, go ahead. I'm a student. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, actually I'm a parent from Treehouse and I'm quite worried about my child's future. Basically, overnight they have shut down the school and now we are not aware what should we do. Hello? Heard anything from, uh, from the school at all? No, they are absolutely not reverting, they are not picking up a call and you know we are very worried ki what should we do, now we will not get admissions anywhere and we are paid the whole fees 
and they are not reverting back to us. So, Kinjal, tell me something. Are you in touch with other parents from the same school? Yeah, we today actually uh, had gone to register a complaint, but uh, nobody has taken a complaint. Neither the education department, neither the police. We had gone to take an FIR also, but nobody is uh, responding to us. All right, Abba Singh, I know you gave this advice once on the show. I'm going to ask you to repeat yourself for, for the benefit of Kinjal Mehta and the other parents from Pune who are facing the same problem. The police are not taking down their complaint. They don't know where to go. The, the school is not responding. What do they do now? See, firstly, as they are worried about the child's education, right to education, which has also been implemented in Maharashtra, it is very clear a small child has to be admitted within three kilometers of his residence. So all the schools in and around their place are com will be compelled to admit these children who have to leave tree house. So that is one thing they must insist under RTE admission. But Secondly, Abba, Abba, the police I believe that has rule to applies to primary schools and not to play schools. complain of their salary. That rule applies to primary schools and not to play schools. Unfortunately, there are very few so rules that apply to play schools at all. Is for see, everybody. Uh, see the. Uh. No, see, but but this can be a, a, an example for elementary schools also because you have it for primary. The, it can be implemented even for play schools because as we were discussing till now, there are no guidelines for play schools. Every corner you have play schools mushroomed up, but this would be a signal for the government to uh, have guidelines for uh, play schools. But nonetheless, these right to education guidelines can be used in this case also. They can be exemplary and uh, the education department can issue a letter saying that these children be adjusted in and around their places of uh, vicinity. Secondly, the PTA must move the civil suit and ensure that a restraining order is given to Treehouse. They be instructed by the court to continue the session, not close the school halfway. Absolutely. It is their moral responsibility to continue the session. Also, they can go for compensation. They can move a consumer court case because they have paid so much fees. I am sure they would not only get compensation for the fees, but also the harassment which the parents are facing at this hour. So they could get a good amount of compensation. They must take and, and also get the, ensure that the school is not shut down like this. Actually, Abba Singh makes a very good point. Now, the National Early Childhood Care and Education Policy of the Women and Child uh, Development uh, Ministry of the Government of India extends the right for free and compulsory education to children below the age of six as well. It says the appropriate government may make necessary arrangements to provide free preschool education to such children. So this is from the ages of three to six. So that would apply to this case. And you can use that particular clause to make sure that your children are accommodated in a school one way or the other. And the government takes the necessary action to make sure that happens. Uh, Lena Asher joins us right now. She's the founder of Kangaroo Kids uh, Education. Lena, unfortunately, this is uh, you know, these are the circumstances under which we're talking. 119 branches of tree school have been shut. Parents are distressed. They want to know what they can do now. What regulations really can they use to make sure that their children don't lose a year? So uh, I'll, I'm talking about just the preschools at the moment. Yes. Um, I don't think it's uh, it's as um, drastic as it seems. It's it's preschool. It's uh, not university. Um, they're not going to lose anything great. Mm -hmm. Plus, as a community, if we can all come together, all the other preschools can come together, and everyone says, okay, we're going to take ten kids additionally. Um, and even though, for instance, we have a fixed number of kids in our classroom, I'm sure our, our parents would be warm-hearted enough to say, yes, we'll accommodate a couple of extra kids in each classroom till such time. So I'm sure as a community, we can all come together and accommodate these kids. But if you're talking about 119 branches, and I'm assuming an average of 100 students per preschool, those are a lot of students to accommodate now mid-year. Do you believe that other schools will be as welcoming as you are right now and say, okay, we'll, we'll put in 10, uh, and even if you put in 10 per class, will we be able to absorb all mm, of those students? It's not 10 per class. Country? I mean, most, uh, most of these treehouse schools are preschools. Mm. Um, each preschool has an average of about 40 kids. So you're talking about if, if there's, for instance, one in Bandra, you've got another 10 preschools around that can absorb two, two or three kids each um, and just till the end of the year. And this is especially for parents who are working. Um, there are also other creative things. I, I think um, everything's come out uh, in the press now. I'm sure we can form, you know, sort of clusters of play groups in people's homes that, uh, you know, that today I'm a mom, I take Monday off and I look after the 10 kids of my class. Tuesday, somebody else takes a day off and looks after 10 kids of their class. I mean, I think the anxiety is more around parents who are working 
Otherwise, as I said, it's, it's preschool. I mean, it, uh, we only have preschools because um, we don't have the same kind of spaces we used to. Mm. Um, we don't have the same kind of structures and extended families we used to. And we don't have parents as... So, uh, so, so Lena, tell me this. What, what are the requirements right now for someone to start a preschool? You founded Kangaroo Kids. If, if there is a company who wants to start a preschool, what do they have to put together? Uh, nothing much, really. They need a space and... Um, and teachers. That's it. That's, That's it. it. It's that simple. Is, is <laughs> it, is it, that simple. Is probably, it that simple? Yes. Probably there are provisions under the Companies Act where mm. uh, uh, they have to register it uh, as an educational body, uh, as a non-profit making organization. Uh, <coughs> so the funds are rotated within the organization or institution no. itself. No, preschools, don't, preschools don't operate under the same gambit no, no, no. as uh, high schools. No, so under so, so, the... Okay, so let's, yeah. let's acknowledge the fact, Arvind, uh, yeah. that Lena Asher has founded a preschool. And she runs one. So tell yeah. us, uh, tell us, Lena, you're saying no, no, nothing other than a space and some teachers. And is there, a, is there some sort of qualification necessity for those teachers, or can those teachers be anybody? They can be anybody. There's, there's, there's no regulation uh, really in India right. that governs anything. So, so um, that's, before that's I like... started, before I started my first preschool in 1993, uh, preschools were mum and pop shops. They were run anywhere from a garage to uh, my bedroom. It didn't really matter where you were run. Um, uh, you know, people like us have come in and professionalized uh, and, and, and brought a focus to uh, early education because early education wasn't even part of the government's mandate for ever so long. It's just sort of starting to recognize the importance of early education now. So, um, yeah, we, I mean, it runs as a, preschools run completely differently to high schools. Mm. Um, I actually think it's time to bring the whole um, uh, See, framework you, you, together. You pay with, service tax to the government. Yes. So the government collects taxes on the entire business that is preschool. That's right. But can't be bothered to recognize this as an area of education that needs to be regulated. The government is fully aware of the extent of this business, the fees that are being charged, the number of children that are going to these schools, but the government can't be bothered to regulate anything from safety to qualification to the spaces to the professionalism with which this is done. And let me point out to our viewers again and again and again that the few names that you've heard of are probably the ones that are the best of those choices. There are several still mom and pop shops run out of flats, out of bedrooms, out of backyards, out of terrace, uh, terrace, terraces of buildings that could possibly be very unsafe for children. And there's nobody looking into it. There's no auditing that's happening. The governments don't go and visit these spaces to make sure that they're safe for the children. Vaida is on the phone line, uh, also a distressed parent. Vaida, go ahead. Vaida, can you hear me? Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, Vaida. Yeah, I'm calling from the Malwani Center. When I started to, with my kids, at first, the first is the third incident with us. Okay, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. actually, first incident when we started, it's one month over, and some uh, teacher is beating one kid. And on that time, we just go to the police station and they just... Oh, oh, aap, aap ne, aap police station mein complaint likhwaya, the police station mein aapne, aapki complaint darj ki, FIR darj kiya, aapki taraf se? Ah, wo time pe jo the, toh, hum logo ne itna pressurized kiya, sab guardian mein pressurized kiya, toh school se unko police complaint kiya gaya, aur wo teacher ko shak kiya gaya. Hmm. Uske baad, wakman back kiya hoa, unho ne bola ki hum logo ko salary nahi mili hai, toh hum log nahi aayenge. Hmm. हम लोग स्कूल नहीं आएंगे बच्चे लोगों को नहीं पढ़ाएंगे फिर हम लोग फिर से हम लोगों का पेरेंट टीचर्स का मीटिंग हुआ वहां पे एचओ से एक सुजाता बोल के कोई आई मैडम उन्होंने हम लोगों को कंफर्मेशन दिया या दे विल गेट द सैलरी विद इन वन वीक एंड दे स्टार्टेड अगेन दे स्टार्टेड स्टार्ट मींस कोचिंग द स्टूडेंट्स वेल अब अभी अचानक से टुडे दे आर टेलिंग नो वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द सैलरी फ्रॉम 6 मंथ्स दे नॉट गिवन आवर सैलरी सो वी विल शट डाउन ट कंपनी 
right? When they see that some of the three schools have shut down, hmm. I think a little due diligence, I'm not blaming the parents. But since it is so unregulated, I mean, it, they are operating this entire sector of footloose and fancy free. Don't mind, I'm not aiming and looking at you. But <laughs> generally, generally at the cost of the parents who are extremely gullible, this sec this place is run. So I think now, if you see now, when you go and buy a flat, people are very aware. They read each and every you know, agreement that what they are signing with the builders. Now there's rules have come out. So now it is the time. Treehouse, maybe my sympathies and uh, to all my, all the parents. But now is this is the time to exert assert pressure on the government and ensure that the things which require is to be done. But you know, Sushma, I'll tell you what what research parents do before they pick these schools. They make sure that there is uh, there are enough people to attend to the children. They make sure that uh, you know that there is there are facilities there that the place is clean, that the place is safe that the people who are teaching English can actually speak English. I know that I've actually spoken to parents. But you can hear the warning bells, but, you but, see. But this is, and, and I know that Aditya wants to say something. Aditya, what kind of research do parents do? Do you actually look at the, the quarterly numbers that have been released by the company before you pick your school? <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh, that's but actually... it's about time it no, I mean, no time that you will get that someone will declare the numbers or something like that. No, no, but since it's a company, I mean, I was yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. In the end, it's go a ahead. company and they would not definitely uh, disclose any, any sort of numbers to you. But what we look into is what kind of education pattern that they follow, what kind of teachers they have, what kind of facilities that they have, what kind of space do they have. Mm. And in the end, we go on to the recommendations, people around there whose uh, daughter or maybe son has been taught the previous year. So we get the exact, uh, exact mouth, idea yeah. what's going to be there for my son or for my daughter. But uh, just a question that uh, came into my mind, there was a statement which says that uh, I, I don't know who said that. Uh, don't fall prey for the showcases and the, and the uh, rosary pictures being showed by the schools. And then there was a statement, why don't you get admitted your so, uh, son or daughter to a BMC school? Now, having said what whatever no, has I happened didn't with Treehouse... I did Once again, let, let me just BMC complete. Part. Let me just complete. Yes, please. Whatever has happened, has happened. Having said that, now, parents are already geared up to get their admissions to the uh, nursery, junior kg, senior kgs and uh, first standard, second standard. We're talking about schools like Vibgyor, Billabong, Vitikits, uh, then Ryan International, all these schools. Now, all these schools are ICSC, CBSC, IB, IG, all these boards. Now, again, what we are talking about a handsome money, mm. which is 80,000 a year, a lakh rupees a year. So, when you say that don't fall prey for this rosary pictures or something, or maybe get, it, get an admission into a BMC school. So, first of all, BMCs, they don't have a proper education system. No, the I think I have been to a BMC school. Is is not an option. No, 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 and maybe no, 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 uh, you know, with the, with the Alicia, schools. So it, it, me me, it leaves me with a question. BMC once again, once again, it leaves me with a question. Where to where to go forward? No, no. How to if that's the problem? Why don't why don't government get into it? Either you regularize them or you outrun them. So we don't have an option rather than going to a BMC school. No, 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 no. BMC school is not an option. What I said was that they have failed us. The entire government machinery. Correct. But then there was. There was a question but on a parent whether, also, no, no. So why you are falling what I'm trying, the prayer, maybe what, why you are going what? by the showcases or whatever the is being shown to you. What Aditya is saying is very, very poignant here at the point that primary and, and LKG school admissions are extremely Difficult. competitive yes. in all of our cities. That was my opinion. And a lot of times, and I know that preschools make an offer saying if you put your child in this school, you can nearly guaranteed admission into Bombay Scottish, into Ryan International, yes, yes. into, you know, whichever, any, whichever any school, school in that name. neighborhood, no, no, school, uh, it's, parents it's the might same want policy. to go to. And that is the reason why parents pick those schools, not because of the quarterly numbers, no, 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 not no, because Aditya, of any of the since I, since I mentioned, I, think, I mentioned about the quarterly numbers because a registered companies, it's a, it's, it's a company's so now, act. Who knows? And I mean, let me, when I no, went no, 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 hold house, on. Aditya, honestly, when right. I went you know, to Tree House, I don't know. Let me, Aditya, let me complete. This yeah. was a case since I'm sure most of okay, the schools so, so, are not even registered. If my point to you is, Aditya, is that unfortunately at our expense, hmm. we've learned a lesson. Now, all you parents should at least make a complaint, no, but I, I, I go think ahead, also, because, yeah, okay. because there's, the civil there's, suit... There's a certain amount to be done by the government here, and I, my last question will be to Abha Singh Only to advise all of the parents across the country who are going to be facing a similar problem. But before we get there, Lena Asha, what research is available to parents before they start off? 
other than to just go look at the space and ask for you know ask for reviews from people around them? Um, I, I think uh, you know we kind of go about preschool all wrong, and even if parents come to my school because they know me as uh, you know as a friend, I still ask them to list what their top values are because everyone's values and what they're looking for for their child is different. To list their top values and then look for a preschool that matches those values. It still um, doesn't guarantee me the fact that the preschool won't run out of I, money and I, shut down. I think media. also, I think yeah. also to look at um, who's behind the preschools. I mean, um, uh, is the person behind the preschools an educator, uh, a teacher by mm. profession, or um, is is the person behind it a businessman uh, looking for financial returns? Um, you know, uh, unfortunately, people actually had looked at tree houses numbers. They were fantastic. Mm. Um, inflate, yeah. of course. Inflate. They were always, yeah. they, inflate. The they're not. They may have been. Still, I mean, let me also point out. The fact that Treehouse's website said that the business has been growing X percent, which was which did not match the numbers yeah, the that were on the stock market. We're yeah. running out of time, because but Abba Singh, bubble. I'm going I'm to mm -hmm. close with Abba Singh. Abba Singh, I'll ask you to very carefully break this down and give us the information in Hindi for people who are watching across the country, groups of parents who are parents whose kids are in tree school in, in treehouse uh, schools right now who are wondering what they're doing because i know that from hyderabad to lucknow people are facing this problem what should they do abha singh the first thing file a civil suit get the restraining order from the court to the institute to three houses pan india because this is not only a mumbai problem but this is a, a hyderabad problem lucknow problem so let that order be issued to all the schools even if it is issued from mumbai it can be taken to the other states and accordingly a restraining order so that it is not shut down because you may start at your sweet will but once you've admitted children the tree house group cannot shut down school at random there are certain guidelines so that only court can give remedy police cannot give a remedy like that it can only register an FIR so immediate remedy for the parents is a civil suit get a restraining ensure that the schools are not shut right. down Abba Singh very, very quick question Abba Singh very quick I, I question. Just have a quick question in case some schools are unable I just then have a quick you question. get admission in the nearby school I just have a quick question even to proceed further with lawsuit or maybe PIL we would need some kind of first step step that we have we've, right. we've gone to a police station and file a complaint no, so you don't need to go in to consumer court you don't need to go to a police station Abba Singh they can also go to the NCRDC which is the no, national no, consumer redress not because if all together they add up to more than one crore rupees in fees the NCRDC absolutely, would be the fastest absolutely. way to they get can go to the absolutely consumer court no. lastly Hmm. Nowhere it is written that you require an FIR to go to the civil court. You can okay. go immediately. You can go immediately and you can yes, do it simultaneously. To the parents who are watching, you police station ja ke FIR darj kar sakte cheating uh, ke, uh, ke clause mein aur, aur aap consumer court bhi ja sakte jitne aap zyada parents ikhatthe kar sakte ho aur saath mein ja sakte ho consumer court to aapki, uh, aapki jo case hai usme zyada, uh, zyada power hogi Ye, uh, and if you need any more help I'm going to put contact details on our screen right now I have to wrap up this show but I want to thank our panelists yes, hey, just maybe you must also examine whether this is a result of demonetization whether the monies are not coming into the school, I'm, I'm, so wait, I'm I, I just no, no, I just I'm want to point out. Like I don't to know, I, I, we examine that, but no, no, consider. No, no. So, Shri Manshaw, we examine that. We know that the company has been in distress for over a year now, and this, this problems have been uh, have, have long predated demonetization, which you will find if you go to the website of SEBI and look up the disclosures that this company has made on its quarterly uh, results. But our contact details are on your screen. If you're a parent who's watching and you're in distress, you don't know what to do, get in touch. We'll put you in touch with people who can help out. We'll also follow up with various state governments and with the Education Ministry to bring preschools under the purview of regulation. Thanks for watching. Stay with Magic Bricks now. We'll come back with a conversation about demonetization and the impact it has had on the country. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.